So Mount Sinai is a large health system in New York City. And we really focus on research at the intersection of healthcare and computer science. It's one of the biggest challenges we have now in biomedicine is a huge influx of data. So we have all kinds of new technologies like genome sequencers, new kinds of imaging, things like wearable devices, et cetera, and they're just providing huge amounts of information into the medical research sphere. The problem is our ability to understand that information and interpret it towards better health outcomes is not kept pace with our ability to generate data. So the GPU technology is a huge uh, benefit for us in, in terms of accelerating some of these algorithms we use to ingest healthcare data and uh, try to predict health outcomes. So if we tried to run some of these algorithms on traditional CPUs, we would be waiting weeks or months. And uh, when it comes down to a diagnosis, you know, that's not an acceptable time frame for most of the case, right? We need to get things down to hours, minutes, seconds. So we use NVIDIA GPUs to accelerate machine learning and AI for predicting healthcare outcomes. One limitation of the current healthcare system is that we have this very archaic understanding of disease. So if you go into hospital today, you'll notice that a lot of medicine is organized by symptoms and anatomy, right? So if a disease affects a certain organ system, then it's organized into like gastrointestinal disease or things like that. So we have the siloing uh, of diseases based on symptoms and anatomy, which, which may be artificial. Well, one thing we're able to do with deep learning is not necessarily understand the exact mechanisms by which these diseases are causing good or bad health outcomes. We can actually ingest a huge amount of information and then try to predict health, good or bad health outcomes without actually having to understand the exact model by which the, the, the disease uh, is being caused. So what the data is showing us is that uh, disease is actually more of a landscape, more of a fabric, and we can't put patients into these neatly organized uh, buckets that uh, physicians and, and sort of classic medicine has defined. And for a given disease like diabetes, for example, we found that there's actually maybe three, four, or five different subtypes of disease that don't fit into the uh, standard uh, category of what is a type 2 diabetic, and that could affect how they respond to drugs, etc. So I think our research matters because we are trying to bring about this vision or put into place this vision of precision medicine. People might have heard about precision medicine because it's a big White House uh, initiative for the future of healthcare. What we're trying to do with uh, data, deep learning, et cetera, is to actually realize this vision uh, and put it into practice.